Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out a Serum tip and trick tutorial video on ADSR. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn an LFO into an actual oscillator. And uh, it's something I stumbled across when I was messing around this weekend in uh, Serum. So I thought I'd share it with you because I actually am probably going to use this a lot moving forward now that I know it exists. Um, it's one of those things that I think is just going to be a taste with how you like to make waveforms and wavetables inside of Serum. But for me, I've gotten really comfortable manipulating the shapes and curves of an LFO in Serum. There's a lot of control that you can do. You can just drag, you can drag and drop different nodes to anywhere you want. Um, you can double click to get new points within the LFO to occur. You can hold down Option click to get things to snap to a grid. You can hold down Shift to get these different points. You can. There's just a lot of flexibility that you can do, right? Uh, we can. You can do loop points, a lot of different stuff, right? So what I'm going to look at, though, in this video is you can also do these different shapes, like flat ramp, down ramp, up, that sort of stuff. So you can also curve it by holding down option and clicking, right? So let's say I wanted to create this shape for an actual oscillator, okay, like a waveform, or even build it out to be a wave table with multiple frames. Doing that inside of this editor would be kind of pain, would be a kind of pain in the ass, right? Well, what you can do is just hold down option or alt, depending on if you're on a Mac or PC, click and drag. And now it won't show you right away. You'd have to save the, the wavetable on the single cycle frame, but it will show you on, I mean, on the, the 3D view, but it will show you on the single cycle frame. And there it is. Right now, you can do things like bend plus. And then we can just use another LFO to modulate between the bend points. And you have a fairly intricate looking uh, waveform, which is kind of cool. And if you wanted to build this out into uh, other shapes, it'd be quite easy. You could just go and load up like a weird, another weird shape, go to your editor here, your wavetable editor, and add some more points. We can just do four to keep this short because I don't want this video getting long. And we'll go to the second frame here, hold down Alt and Option, click, pop that in. So now we have two different frames, right? And we could just keep doing that sort of thing. We could just do different shapes. We'll do this on the third one, kind of curve it out a little bit, option click, drag and drop. So now we have these three different wavetables. Let's go to this one here and we'll do yet another one. Okay, so that just got funky and weird. So option click, drag and drop. So now we have these four different frames, right? They're gonna be pretty different sounding. Right, it's kind of bouncing back and forth. So you can hop over to your wavetable editor. We can do a crossfade here and it'll help that clickiness. And uh, we have a pretty cool wavetable with uh, minimal fuss, minimal work. So I'm gonna drag and drop an LFO, the LFO2 into the wavetable position here. And uh, we'll have this be uh, bipolar here so it goes back and forth. But yeah, let's listen to this. Let's check this out. I mean, there's some general issues you want, issues you'll want to address. Maybe you will want to go to the process, normalize each so they're gained separately, um, so they so they don't pop as much. You can also do things like uh, crossfade. There's a bunch of stuff you can do to get it to play a little bit nicer within the frames here. But for instance, if we change this to a different shape. Right, you get some nice movement in a wavetable. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.